My name is Richard Moore. I'm the pastor here at uh, First Press in Nina. I've been here for 25 years. Well, Pentecost is the third biggest celebration in the liturgical year. First of all, it's Christmas, then Easter and Pentecost. You know, on Easter, on, on Christmas Eve, we have candles. On Easter, we have lilies and trumpets. On Pentecost, we have the doves. You know, I, I just think it's, it's good to have some vivid um, expression. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. And uh, so the, the doves are sort of the tongues of fire or whatever. In the 1700s, I believe, there was a cleric who wanted to pour out all the stops, just like we do for Pentecost. And so he rigged up a series of cables in his church so that at that point in the scripture text, when, it, when it's read, then he would have torches that slid down these ropes or wires that he had arranged. This didn't go well, and the church burned to the ground. So we're going to skip the fire of the tongues, and we're just going to use our paper doves that uh, kids have made through the years. I think some of them are the same. Uh, the ones we worry about a little bit are the ones that get stuck up there in the chancel and haven't been down yet, but maybe one of these days they'll fall too. I can't remember when we started. I would say probably for 12 or 14 years maybe, something like that. Uh, but early on, the early Christians celebrated Pentecost because they remembered it as the occasion when the disciples were empowered by the Holy Spirit to bear witness to the risen Christ. But it's fun. It should be great fun. And my great hope is that people would pick up on the enthusiasm and uh, show up for church on Pentecost just like they do on Easter or even maybe Christmas Eve. I hope you'll join us this coming Sunday for Pentecost to come see the doves. We're going to confirm our confirmands this year from the 2014 confirmation class. And there'll be cake at the end so that we can welcome them.